Hey everyone, today I'm going to be painting my bedroom with the world's blackest paint. You're not painting our room. What's that? Hey everybody, today I created an entire room that I'm going to be painting with the world's blackest paint. Let me give you a tour of the room. So this is my room here. Um, this is my one corner and then another corner over here and then my favorite one right there. So you can tell where the door is due to the doorknob right here. And then I'm going to be painting the room entirely black and then turning on the light bulb and seeing what happens. How does it look when you have a completely black room and turn on a light bulb inside? I've done a lot of videos using black paints and each time I use one, somebody invents an even blacker paint that absorbs more light. So, so far, the blackest paint in the world is by far this Musso Black. And I did a video with it previously where I painted an apple and different things. I painted a box with it where you could see how dark it was inside of it. And I've gotten so many comments where people said you should paint an entire room with that black paint. So I contacted the company that makes Musso Black and they sent me a ton of paint so that I could paint my own room with Musso Black. Ooh, look at this, Musso Black. What is this? I think they sent me Musso Black fabric or something. Look at that. <laughs> it's like a black hole. <laughs> I don't know what this is exactly, but they sent it to me in the box as well. <laughs> And this is black. Maybe this will be the flag that I hang out in front of my black room. It's getting black in here. Oh man, this stuff is like black ink. It's like I'm spreading black ink everywhere. It's so dark. It's covering up my glasses. I can barely see anything. It's so dark. So any bit of a sheen that you can still see, the paint needs to still dry a little bit. So we'll see what it looks like when it's all the way dry. Oh man. So even with my light in there, it was really hard to see what I was doing. The only way I could tell what I was doing was with the wet paint, you can kind of see a sheen out of it. Other than that, I just was doing it blind, just spraying everywhere in there. <laughs> that got messy. Okay, the room is now dry. It's time to enter the blackest, darkest room in the entire world. Let's try it out. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Whoa like I'm looking into a portal or something. Okay, now this is probably going to give a really weird illusion because you can't tell any depth perception because you can't see any of the walls or floor or anything. It's going to look like I just shrink. Whoa. <laughs> this is so weird. Hey everyone. <laughs> Here I am in the world's blackest room. Painted with the world's blackest paint, Musso Black. So it kind of looks like I've just shrunk in here, but really you just can't tell any of the depth perception in the room. You can't tell that there's a corner somewhere around here or on the floor. It just looks completely black around me. So you can see me because the light is coming from outside, bouncing off me and going straight to the camera. But any light that doesn't bounce directly off me and go back to the camera just gets absorbed by the walls. So you can't see it at all. <laughs> okay, let's check it out inside and let's see what it looks like when I actually turn on a light bulb inside. Okay, so up here somewhere is my light bulb socket. Screw it in. Okay. 
and then we're going to see what it looks like in a room with a light on where the walls and floor and ceiling absorb over 99% of visible light. Okay, I'm going to turn on the light bulb. Three, two, one. <laughs> Here I am in the world's darkest room. Let's give you a view of this. Okay, now watch this. It's like I'm the Earth rotating in space around the sun. So you can't see anything behind me. I have light on my face. So when I'm faced away from the light, you can't see my face at all. Do a quick spin. <laughs> you can't see anything spinning. You just see the light going around me. It's so weird. <laughs> So what's it like being in a room that's painted with the world's blackest paint that absorbs almost all the light in the room? Well, it's almost like being in space where you can only be illuminated directly from the light source, not from any reflected light. Now that can kind of pose a problem if you're talking to another person in the room. For example, let's say I'm talking to you. If the light source is in front of me, in between us, it's gonna bounce off of me and then you can see me. But if the light source is behind me, then we can't really have a conversation because the light source is now behind me and you can't see my face at all. So things are a little bit different when there's no reflected light in the room. Okay, now let's take a look at the Muso Black Velvet they sent me. See if I can make myself disappear. Whoa. <laughs> and here I am. <laughs> so cool. Get a floating head effect. What's really interesting about this is you'll notice how much dimmer it is in here. So I have the same light bulb in here that I had when it was completely white in here at the beginning, when I was unboxing the paint. But notice how much dimmer it actually looks. That's because a lot of the light that was illuminating me wasn't actually coming directly from the bulb, but it was coming from different parts of the room where the light headed out that direction then came back and hit my face. And so I appeared brighter. So in this case, I'm losing a lot of light to absorption that would have been reflected around the room until it illuminated me and different things in the room. So you can see what I mean using this white board here. So the light is coming from above. So if I tilt it just a little bit so that it's not getting light from the light bulb, it would have been getting it from the ground, but watch what happens when it doesn't get it from the light bulb. So I just tilt it a little bit, it goes completely black. So even though I can put my hand in front of it, as long as I tilt it towards the light, you can see it. Watch what happens if I fold this in half. So you can see now, I can hang it at this angle and you can still see that it's white in there. So it's reflecting off the bottom here, still making it white up top here. So we kind of take for granted in a normal room how much light is actually not coming from the light source, but is actually coming from the light source hitting different objects in the room and illuminating us. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell so that you can be notified when I release my latest video and turn on your YouTube notifications if you want to be notified as well. And check out theactionlab.com if you haven't seen the Action Lab experiment boxes or the experiment book. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.